Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Epiphany. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are outside. We are at Dragon Con in Atlanta. Not Dragon Con, Comic Con in Atlanta. But I won't be participating as a attendee. I am a volunteer and I am going to my station right now. I'm handling the programs. So this is so fun. Ah! Oh my gosh, I love your JoJo cosplay. Thank you, thank you. It's so cute. so fun I have ow I just shocked myself this is honestly the most funnest thing I have ever done I'm working for three days and <gasps> I love your skate cosplay I feel like I'm just gonna be saying I love your cosplays all day and I honestly have no problems with that because there are a lot of amazing cosplayers here and their cosplays are so fantabulous and I love everybody's cosplays. Right now I am looking for where I'm supposed to be because I'm completely lost and I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So um, <laughs> this is so fun. It's, it's not fun, but it's fun. And I'm just like, ah! I will check back in with you guys once I find out where I'm supposed to be because I'm so confused and I don't know where I'm supposed okay. to go. Update. So I found my room. This is where I will be playing anime for you guys. This is this is my anime room. This is Epiphany's house. I, I got y'all. This is Epiphany's anime room. And I will be here all day. Literally all day. So um, let's go see what animes I'm going to be playing for you guys. So these are the anime that I'm going to be playing for you guys. Tiger Bunny, Death Note, Vampire Night, <laughs> if you know, you know. Burn the Witch. Zetem Zetaman. I have not watched that one. And Castlevania. Castlevania is being played tonight. So, and we're yeah. back. So, update. I figured out how to work the DVD player. I know how to work a DVD player. I'm only 24. I, I know how to work a DVD, but, but they showed me how to work the DVD player. And we have the DVDs. The, we're only missing Death Note. So I'm not sure if they're going to change it or if it's going to turn up. But we do have the other DVDs. We have Tiger and Bunny. Um, don't know what this is. Uh... Burn the Witch, Zeta Man, and Castlevania. These are the animes that we will be watching today, and I'm low-key excited because I didn't, I have not seen Castlevania. Like, I've seen clips of Castlevania on Twitter, but I haven't actually picked up Castlevania at all, but Zeta, Zeta, Zeta Man, I have not heard of at all nor did i hear of burn the witch so the only two and i did not hear of tiger and bunny so the only one that i am aware of death note is not even here so all these animes that i'm about to watch are completely new to me and i'm low-key excited and low-key scared at the same time so i'm just like ah. and we're back so i just left from my panel and it was so great but guys look 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 wait hold on wait zoom in the voice actor for karapika from hunter hunter is here she's here I'm freaking out. I I'm freaking out. Like I'm totally I'm totally freaking out. Like I don't but we are on a mission. On a mission, despite that fact that the voice actor for Karapika from Hunter Hunter is here and Karapika is like my favorite Hunter Hunter character. And but our mission, our mission right now is to find food. Because I'm starving and it's like 
three o'clock and I haven't eaten. The only thing I've eaten today was like a granola bar and this water. So I need food in my system. So the mission is to find food and I think I found food because I'm about to get some pizza because I just saw someone who had a pizza and I'm just like, mm, I'm about to start eating some pizza. But ah, this is so cool. Food, and I'm currently watching Vampire Night. So, yeah, watching Vampire Night by myself in the section where I'm supposed to be working, room 104. And I have not eaten yet because all the vendors here only take cards, and I only have cash. So I'm stuck eating my granola bar. In those areas because I keep her alive. And, you know, I want people to remember what they felt like, you know, the first time they saw them there. So, yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you so much. Great question. Uh, now I'm doing data run all the way around the theater, <laughs> the auditorium. Your costume is so pretty. Tell me what your character is. So I'm Lily Munster. Okay, now I I called you Morticia. Yes. But that's not correct because she doesn't have the, the white streaks. But yeah. not a lot of people know the Munsters. Oh, I love Munsters. Because that was black and white. That would have been yeah. when I was yeah, that's a kid. 65, 64. Exactly. We didn't have color TV yeah. back then. So when I grew up, I didn't have a television until probably I was three years old or so, but The Munsters was the bomb. Oh, I mean, it was such a great show, and it was in black and white, so that's awesome. I love your your dress, your gown. It's oh, so pretty. Thank you so much. Okay, so my stand-up, and so I took a college course last semester. It was a film course, and part of the course was my teacher told me that The Little Mermaid was a sexist film. And yeah. I could write an essay about how Little Mermaid empowers women. I so I just wanted to hear your thoughts about how the film was such a huge step for princesses. I know. That is some of it. Do we have people's videos going right now? <laughs> <laughs> no reporting uh, for this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I can answer honestly. And I've, I've said it you know, publicly before. But um, they seem to forget the first 15 minutes of the film. So Ariel wants to be something bigger and different than she currently is. She's reaching for something beyond. And she is dreaming big. And she's already lost her mother to possibly human violence. So she's very sensitive to her father's feelings, strong feelings about the human world. But she sees herself as the youngest daughter to be a bridge builder. So rather than putting up walls, she wants to be a bridge builder. So she wants to connect these two worlds because she doesn't see the violence and the danger that she has experienced when she goes to the surface. See, she sees the joy and the love is what she has experienced. And just the excitement of new and different things and the curiosity fascinate her. So that is what Part of Your World is about. So the lyrics of Part of Your World are not directed towards a relationship. Um, they're directed towards her internal passion and desire of wanting something more. She doesn't know what that is, but she would like to explore that. Hence, the prince enters the picture, and she saves him. So she's not rescued. She's a rescuer. But again, she's a bridge builder, and she sees the opportunity Obviously, I've thought a lot about this. So, <laughs> no, but because of the trauma of her mother's passing, 
she sees a human in the same position that her mother was in and she has the opportunity to rescue. So she does that. So what she falls in love with is not necessarily a handsome prince as much as here is a way that I can love someone different than me. And what does that look like and how do we explore that? So those are the first minutes of the film that I think get forgotten. But again, we have to understand Ariel was 1989. A lot of you weren't even born then. So things were very different for women in 1989 than they are today in 2023, thank God. Yeah. Um, so we have to see the sequence of growth that happens for her. So when we say, when people say, well, why is Ariel such and such? And now we have Mulan, and now we have Raya. And what, but do you understand that 35 plus years have transcended and we've, we've, we've grown and we've changed and we've learned from our mistakes and there's been more freedom and more opportunity to express ourselves as women. So I, I think those are probably the issues and that was a very long-winded answer to your question, but we have a small setting, so I don't feel like, you know, if I have a thousand, you know, 500 people or a thousand people, I can't answer questions like this. We usually just have to do a quick sentence and get to the next 30 people that are standing in line. But because we have more of a living room setting, I, I can give you a, a more heartfelt answer. Great question. All right, guys, welcome back. This is check-in time. It is the end of day one for Comic-Con. It was such an amazing day. I had so much fun. I met so many great people, saw so many great cosplays, and I'm just grateful that I had this opportunity. And I will check in tomorrow with you guys for day two, bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Tiffany, and welcome back to my channel. It is day two of Comic Con, and it's it's so it's so packed in here from yesterday, and I'm just like, <sighs> so I have no idea what I'll be doing today. But yesterday, I met the freaking Little Mermaid. I met the voice actress for Ariel, and I'm literally over the freaking moon. Like, I met Ariel. The Ariel, ah. and it's so weird because like she's not my favorite princess, but like she's she's up there, she's up there as one of my favorite princesses, and I'm just like. But um, I will update you once I figure out what I'm doing today as a uh, volunteer, and I will check in soon. Bye. So update: we are on break right now. No way. No freaking way. Look. And look, guys. Oh my god. Look at all of the the actors. Whoa. So the mission is to look for food. I'm on break right now. I've been on crowd duty all freaking day and I'm literally tired. So I'm looking for food. I have a break from now until one 50 and I'm literally looking for food so okay so it is now the end of my shift I I was here from 8 to 2 and tomorrow I'm here from 8 to 2 but look who I got in my hair it's Bakugo it's Bak and look look, look 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 what I got look what I got I got the coolest thing ever it's a Batman pocket watch it's a Batman pocket watch look it threw it open Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! And, 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 I also have these comics. All of them, all of them for $10. 10 freaking dollars. Now I'm just waiting on my ride to show up and it is the end of Comic-Con day two. 
I did crowd control today, so I wasn't really roaming around as much as I was yesterday. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed day two. So I will see you all tomorrow for day three, the last and final day.